is up vod gang this is actually day two of me going through attempts to defeat radon and Nicola. so we're gonna see how this goes i don't really i uh i have um tried out a couple of things with various success it just seems that we're gonna need a lot of blood in order to do this I have a couple of uh, little experiments, basically, to run. So we're going to try those right now. Okay. Okay, so not good so far. Okay. If you would, thank you. Just thought I would uh, give a little bit of an experiment with the uh, with the blood or with the uh, sleep pot. Just to see if it would do anything. That works. Whew. Okay. So far, so good. Quickly. Oh, fuck! Oh, wow. Okay, so somebody got his attention. I see. He was hugging somebody. Wait. Oh my god, is this it? Come on, guys. We can do it. Oh, my God. No. You were right fucking there. We were right there for the opening fight. That was that was awesome. So the impenetrable thorns is a banger spell. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done it this early, but you know what? We're just going to go with it and we're going to see how it goes.
Yeah, I decided to switch back to Godrix because it's an actual like damage increase as well as bar increase. So I think that that's kind of worth us doing. Come on. Come on. Okay. And now... Yeah. Oh. Uh, come on. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Time for me to work my literal magic. Okay, Talia is getting hit a little bit, but that's fine. Oh god. I was hoping I could get a blood proc on him. Woo! Go! Fuck. I wasn't ready. Oh shit, he hugs somebody. See, like, that's going to be the thing that actually helps the most is that hug. Because whenever he does that, we can, like, buff back up. The unfortunate thing is the only thing that we can't do that with is, um, is our, uh, physic. Like, we, uh, we just kind of have to live without that. Okay, and... Oh, that's right. I don't know if we got that last time. But... You never know. Just that little bit of difference in damage. Ooh. Quick leap. Alright, magic time. Horns, bitch! Wait for me. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Okay. Now. Okay, I gotta get up on him. Okay, now.
you. Okay, I know the prop for this. It's a jump. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, I killed two of my guys at once. But we're getting better. I think this is the strategy to really lock in. I could, um, ooh, what? Whoa, what's up, Larpool11? How are you? And thank you for the follow. I have to cheese the fuck out of this. Okay, there we go. Whoop. And, uh, boop. How am I? I am just trying to make it through this fight. With good old Radon. Just the... Just the nicest guy. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna try this this time. This time we're gonna have two people being able to thorn cast. Woo! Go! Bleed him! Oh my god! Quick! Gotcha! Fuck! Whoo! Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Whoop. Okay, we gotta bleed. Oh god, my timing's all fucked. Thank you, me. Katie Kylie, thank you for the follow. Jesus, where's everybody coming from right now? Ooh. Oh, fuck. Missed the timing. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yep. What's up, dude? How are you? I'm all right. Where am I from? The deep ass south. Deep ace south. Let's see. Okay, let's just try this again. This, uh, this setup, uh, this setup is getting us the most consistent results, I think. Even from, uh, last night, we did pretty, pretty well with this. So we'll just keep on trying. Okay, so do that buff ourselves by the time that we buff ourselves Dollier will be out and we'll do golden vow buff everyone 
And now we get the beaten stick out and we hopefully beat him with the stick. So let's see. Oh, it's a magical character? Kinda. Like, I usually don't do magic, but I'm at the point where I'm just like, I just want to kill this dude, so I will do anything to make it happen. Ooh. Oh my god. Thorns, bitch! Bleed! Oh shit. My my mimic did it too. Uh oh. My alarm's going off. Okay. Woo. What games do you play mostly? Um, so far it's this, Warframe, and um, sometimes World of Warcraft. Pokemon's a big thing. Whenever it comes around, I press the wrong button. Uh, <laughs> need any artwork? Nah, I'm good, man. I just need to sit down and actually, like, take a day. Oh, fuck. I'm getting hit. Somebody hit him. Oh my god, I dodged it. Okay. Come on. By the way, how long have I been streaming? A little, uh, a little over a year and a half, I would like to say. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> yes! The weather is great! Only 20 minutes in. But thorns, man. Thorns. Thorns will melt. Radagon. What is this? Whoa. Touch memory. Hold on. Game is like an adventure movie, pretty much. Touch memory. Oh no. Tolier. We got his stuff. 
And Sir Ansbach. No. We got his scythe. And we got the ferocious blade of Ansbach. Where am I from? The south. But what is this, though? Touch memory. Ooh, we about to learn some forbidden lore here. What is this? Take a screenshot. Is that it? I'll make the world a gentler place. The circlet of light. Slightly boosts intelligent faith and in arcade while also boosting the power of Mikola's light. How much are we talking about a boost? Okay, so we get a point to each. That's pretty cool, but Jesus Christ, it takes down a lot of our uh, armor. And that's it. That's the end of the DLC, except for the random shit. Pick up my, pick up my non-existent runes. Can I go up there? Why don't you upgrade your uh, channel light panels, Twitch, and overlay? Because I need time to do it. I'm gonna. It's just a matter of uh, me sitting down for a day when I don't necessarily want to stream, but just want to do something else. That was something. Radon is fucking amazing for a fight. So... Yeah. Okay. What do I do for a living? I work. I just work. So. Let's actually go ahead and, uh... Oh, actually, hold up. Just a, just a thought. Because now we have um, a little bit of leeway. I'm keeping impenetrable thorns. I'm going to go back to my uh, PvE setup. Which is basically just like a whole bunch of fun spells. I do want to check that out in particular. Let's see. What else? I love my boulders. And I love my uh, Black Flame. So, what's this one do? Okay, so does it actually build up um, blood is my question. We'll have to see. 
Dynistic Sickle Play? Let's see. A finesse evasive skill that creates space to maneuver. Inputs um, dictate the direction of the back step. Follow up with a strong attack to perform a upward or an advancing upward slash. Press the strong attack again to bring the weapon back down. And it's a blood weapon. Okay, cool. We may uh, we may actually put that on to give it a try. And then this is interesting. The uh, the fist weapon. Let's actually put some of those on. Let's see what uh let's see what all these kind of look like. What our what our just rewards are for doing all of this. Okay, and then there's scythes. I think there's only like three scythes in the entire game, so it's gonna be something interesting. Oh, I see. by adding yeah I know what you mean by that I totally know what you mean by that yeah I absolutely 150% know what you mean there we go and there we go that's much better you see the thing is is that um don't do that ever like ever 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 on a channel don't whore yourself out on a channel and try to sell because guess what um higher ups watch that kind of shit and they're like oh this person has bought fucking let's uh let's fucking make his channel suffer Ooh. Okay, so this is a actual claw weapon, not necessarily a fist. And then there's that. All right, what about the scythe? Oh, the strong attacks are fucking awesome. What about... Damn, not bad. Okay, so yeah, you can... tilt the stick in the direction that you actually want to uh, do the dodge in. I wonder if anybody in particular has, like, a reaction whenever you, um, do this. Or a reaction whenever you, uh, whenever you've done the DLC, or if the DLC does something. Yeah, there we go. Now I've changed uh, the uh, the name of the stream because now we are actually going to be finishing the game. Now that we finish equipment of champions, yeah, let's get um, let's get Prime Radon's stuff because we don't have that. Okay, so we have three different um, options. Wow, 72 faith in order to get that. That is the most faith-based thing ever. I 
I think the Lord one is probably the better one. But we'll probably get all three. Yeah, we can upgrade all of this stuff. Kind of more interested to see uh, Radon's great swords, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to actually use them effectively. It doesn't seem like it. It seems like it wants us to. Uh... Oh wow, that's that's really interesting. The um, the great sword of Radon is one pound lighter than its original counterpart for some reason. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, go down here. Check this out real quick. Okay, so... Not bad. I think this is a uh, different uh, fighting style. Ooh, I like it. And it's weapon art. I picked the right one. I feel confident that I picked the right one. Yeah, that seems uh, to be the better one to pick. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome possum. But yeah, let's, um, let's actually upgrade. I think that is the first final boss from a Souls DLC that I've actually beaten as well. And, uh, kind of, uh, kind of proud that it was... Probably the most touted one of all time. Let's see. Purchase. Okay. Let me see if I got anything that uh, that I can use just to pop for like a few souls. No, I uh, I don't. I think though, if I'm gonna be honest with myself, the uh, Radon uh, Great Sword is probably gonna be the one that I can definitely count on. Let's see how this scales. Oh, we're... Okay, actually... Yeah, we can sell some stuff. I'm sure we can. That'll work. Okay, so it scales with strength and dex to see, and then it gives you a little bit of faith. And I'm actually kind of surprised. It's dealing magic damage, not holy. That's a little odd. And am I right about... Yep. Okay, so somber for that. And then somber for that, too. Yeah, we could try that. We'll upgrade both of them eventually, but if I was going to have to pick... Ooh, a B deck scaling. That's pretty good. What about... Ooh, again, B deck scaling. These aren't too bad. Let's see, what can I actually get away with? 
Because I want to have the Beast Claws, because I have a lot of fun with the Beast Claws. Okay, so... I think it's time to just be realistic. There we go. Let's see, let's pick a... Let's pick an armor that still keeps us pretty... pretty well in check. Oh, jeez. Now that's odd. It's so much worse. Okay, so it's it's just lighter than the original. Like it's heavy, but it's but it's lighter. So if you need a compromise like that, you could do that. I could do that, and then maybe uh, that takes it too far down. I gotta love doing math with this shit. Okay. Okay. Oh, and that's right. Now we can get um, another talisman back up on there. Which I believe would probably be... Let's be honest, we do fuck around with blood a whole lot. So it'll probably just be blood. But... Maybe not. I don't know. Um... What weapon was it that I was trying to Oh yeah, now like I said, now we can go back to some uh to some fun stuff. We just kind of mess around a little bit. Okay, so let's go back. Let's actually go back into the DLC area. There's actually quite a bit of stuff. Let's see. Let's see. All right, changing this again. Okay. So yeah, we're going to um, actually go in and uh, take a look. Store window, there we go. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down this list one by one and we're going to um we're going to actually do this. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to get is Rolling Sparks for the uh, Perfumer stuff. Can I actually equip just a Perfumer thing right now? It's going to be tight. Okay, cool. I can still do that. This is why you try to get um, Equip Load up. Because uh, you want to be able to carry as much shit as humanly possible. 
and yeah, this will uh, this will help me out a little bit because this will allow me to do both spells and uh, miracles. So I'm all into that. Okay, so this first one can be found by a flying scarab on the eastern side of the large camp south of the shadow keep. Okay, I think we go here. That's what we're going to do for right now, at least. Let me actually kind of minimize a little bit of stuff. There we go. Let's see, not that. Yeah, we can get out of that now. I gave myself some uh, some uh, rune arcs before uh, we started streaming, just so I would have them. So, just so you guys know... It took us five tries today to actually beat them. So that strategy is pretty much just goaded at this point. Let's see. Okay, south from... Okay. On the eastern side. Okay, how about this? Let's look here. I don't want to... Um... Okay, I, I was kind of right. I was kind of right. Yeah, we're just gonna... We're just picking stuff up now. So yeah, it looks like it's like somewhere like right up in here. So we're gonna go get that bitch. Sir. I wonder how good Radon's uh, swords actually are in battle. And that was just one-handed, by the way. That wasn't even with two hands. This would be a good test. Not bad. Pretty simple. What about the Ash of War? I still think, though, that there was a mistake whenever Radon's blades were made. Like, why put... Why would you put fucking um, magic damage on that as opposed to holy? Like, that to me seems like the right call. Okay. We're coming up on it now. Probably kind of have to jank our way up here a little bit. Okay. So it's, so it's up here, said to look for perfumers. Okay, there is a perfumer. Let's see if we can just see it from over here. I'm trying to hear it. Like it's somewhere over here. Ooh, I hear it. Try to sneak up. Oh! Fuck! Oh. Let's see. Mm. Ow. Well, that fucking hurt. Okay, so we got that. That's one off of the list. And I know that Rolling Sparks got, um, got nerfed today. But that's okay. 
Let's see, reward for siding with Horde Scent during his fight with Leta. Can't do that one. This one I'm very interested in, though. Drop by a tier, uh, drop Scarab from the Ravine, Rav, or Ravine north side of Grace in Rau Base. Head south, cross the river, and find it in a small uh, pool of rot near some ruins. Okay. So let's see. It's called the uh, Poison Flower Blooms Twice. Ravine North. Okay. Okay. Head south to cross to cross river and find it in a small uh, pool of rot near some ruins. Okay. Yeah, fuck that dude. Oh! Is that him? Hey, could you not... Fuck. Whew. A poison flower strikes twice. That ought to be interesting. I don't know what kind of weapon you can really attach it to. I, ooh, I kind of have a theory, though, on what I would like to try it on personally. Fucking try to break my shit. Fucking coomers. Sons of bitches. Oh shit. Hey buddy. Antiquity Scholar Cookbook, you say? I'll bite. Fire Sprite Stone. Let's see. A fire sprite that bounces along the ground. The fire sprite um, pierces through enemies dealing damage. Okay. So this is... The poison flower blooms twice. Conjure uh, stingers of scarlet rot from below to stab the enemy. Led a follow-up attack on a foe who's already um, with poison or rot. Deals massive damage in one fell swoop. I think that that's a you could use this on anything weapon art. And I bet it would probably look pretty cool on, like, a hand-to-hand -hand style. But for right this second, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take that off the list. So what's next? Okay, that's it. We have two different kinds of backhand blades. Um, Smith Script and Curse Blades Circ. Ruin Forge, Starfall Past. Okay. We may already have this as far as the grace. Trying to figure out exactly where it is, trying to match it up with my brain power. My brain power is unlimited. Come on, where is it? Is it? Okay, it's somewhere like right up in here. Ruin Forge of Starfall Past. Okay. So that's a dungeon for us to go into. Just when I think I'm out of this DLC, it pulls me back in, goddammit. But this time I got Radon Swords. So it's gonna be fun. I think. 
Okay, they say it's lootable from a body. Is he gonna... Sup! What happens here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that... Oh. Well. Is this it? Smith script spear. Oh. Okay. Woo. I am Bradon now. Hell yeah. Hit them where they're weakest. Okay. Ah, God. Oh my god, he trapped me! He trapped me! down apparently there's also golem uh hands essentially that you can get see like i can already see a little bit of a problem with uh radon's weapons is that like for the initial combo there's a little bit of a wind up is this it? Uh oh. Just gonna sneak up to ya. And then I'm gonna get ya. Uh oh. I'm stuck! Yep. So the golem secret technique is, um is putting you against a wall and not letting you go. Very good technique. I would uh, I would recommend it for anybody, honestly. Okay. So we're all the way the fuck back here. That's great. Don't want to deal with it. Nope. Juke. Let's go up. So apparently I'm supposed to be looking for a body to loot this off of. There is a body. And that's not the body that we're looking for, apparently. Is this it? Smithing talisman. Ooh. 
There's two. Smithing stone, eight. So this one's the next one. Okay. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Ha ha. Yeah, give me. What's up? Is this? Yay! I did it! Now what? <laughs> I didn't know maybe it was like, this is your only way out. Eh, but we got the actual weapon. So, I mean, that's what we came for. Let's take a look. I know we can't roll with them on. But we could try. Just take a look. Oh, nice. So it's the same effect as uh, the other Smith script, uh, Smith script weapons, is that you could throw these bitches with the strong attack. Ooh, and blind spot is a pretty good. Uh, blind spot is a pretty good just default for these. Like it's surprisingly good. Ooh, and you could throw that too. Iron Cleaver. When did we get that? It says that we picked it up. What's the talisman actually? Enhances throwing weapon attacks. Okay. So if you want an actual um, Smith script build to where you throw this shit, you could do it. That might be pretty viable. What about curse blades? Okay. So the curse blades are a chance drop. So we're going to have to actually go and find one that's the easiest to just get it off of. But I believe that uh, that one is the uh, somber smithing stone version to where it has a unique Ash of War. And you can't put any... Uh... Don't see me. But I'm pretty sure that this is probably the... Um the nearest place. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that dude up there. Let's do that and take that off. We're at heavy equip? Oh, wait a minute. I know why. Yeah, now we're in a medium load. We can try Radon's um, stuff. Nope. Let's try it again. This time, though, I'll actually put on uh, what I need to farm. 
Because I, uh, I just now realized that I didn't do any of that shit. So let's put on... Yeah, we could, we could do that. Raises item discovery. And then we're going to put on... Let's go. Did we get it? Hey, second try. Not bad. What do these look like. Okay, so they look like chakrams. Dude. That's pretty cool. And it's got um, blood loss on it, so I'm already a fan. But out of all of them, I think it's just between these two. I could be wrong, though. Like, I could upgrade the Curse Blades, and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, shit, that, they don't even stand a chance, man. It ain't even close. So the next... I only have three things left that I really want to try and get. Um... Is... The Frenzy Flame Perfume Bottle... The Lightning Perfume Bottle, and then the Golem Fist. Which I know, apparently, one of them is the Abandoned Church. Located at the northern interior of the Abandoned Church. Okay, the northern interior. Oh, is this it? How did I not see that? Okay, <laughs> now we only got two more. Okay, and I'm really interested in this one because this is uh, definitely the Faith-based uh, um, perfumer bottle. It's the Lightning one. So found on a corpse a ways northeast from the Cerulean Coast site of Grace. Leg in a pool of water guarded by a lightning ram. Okay, so I know, like, we got Cerulean Coast. So it's Northeast. Okay. Uh oh. So it's probably across this river. As long as he doesn't see me, I'm good. Ooh! This is where it is. Yeah! There we go. Yeah! Whoa. Whoa! Fuck. No! Okay, last one. Golifus. Taylor's Ruined Forge? Wait. Didn't we do that? Looted from certain golems. Okay, so this is another loot based one. So we have to kill um, some of them in order to do this. Ruinforge lava intake. Fog rift catacombs. Where the fuck? There we go. Taylor's Ruin Ruinforge. So this apparently 
goes off of strength, dex, intellect, and faith. I'm kinda I'm a like I'm mildly curious. Get them where they're weakest. Okay. So we're just gonna just gonna use that. Smithing stone at six. Okay. And this thing cuts through those motherfuckers. Yes. Can we just jump to the other side and find another golem to fight? Which is saying something because I don't particularly like fighting golems at all. Oh my god. Why were there two? You ace holes. We can try to fight this one that's uh, the closest to us, just to see if there's a if there's a random chance that he'll just have the fists on him, which there could be. I don't know. Try this again. Okay, smithing stones. That's fine though. Uh, oof. I was worried that I was gonna basically rebound off of that chain. Actually, can I? Can I beat him with this? I could. You know what I think? Like, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and use another one of those. Just to rebuff. Just so that we don't use... Ooh. That could have been bad.
Ooh, I think we got it. Because uh, he dropped a purple. Golem Fist. Uh oh. Yeesh. I'm good, bro. I already got your treasure. I don't want anything else. Yeep. there's anything like special about the fighting style i bet that it breaks fucking that's so crazy like it just does physical damage is it just like the end all to uh to fist weapons possibly Yeah, it's got a C and an E on everything else. It's heavy. Ooh. I like the look. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have the, um... Whoa, wait a minute. What? Crafted with... A smith script enabling strong attacks to launch the entire fist straight ahead. Let's try this. Hello there. Hi there. Hi there, friend. Ooh. I want to hit him out of the air so bad. Oh, there we go. This thing breaks like fucking pulleys too, but that shouldn't be a surprise because, I mean, look at these things. That's pretty cool though. I, I'll probably upgrade them. I wonder if they upgrade off of, um, I wonder if they upgrade off of, ooh, I bet they do upgrade just off of regular smithing stones, which would mean that you could put an Ash of War onto it. That'd be pretty fucking sweet. But with that, I've pretty much gotten everything. Yes! Okay. Let's see how high the scalings go. I'm very interested. Okay, so... Okay, so hard to tell so far. Okay, we're gonna sell... We can sell something, I'm sure. Something that's worth a decent amount. Or just something that we have extra of, maybe. Well, that's one. 
That's alright, I kind of do want to see what happens um, if you were to just put two of these together. I think it'd be interesting. Yeah, we got our collection of vials. Come on, we gotta have extra of something, right? I mean, we could do this old school. Let's do this old school real quick. Um, let's see, show underground. There we go. Yeah, we all know where this is going. We all know where this is. Oh, wait a minute, shit. That's where we need to go. All the way on the other side. Palace Approach Ledge Road? Okay. Let's do this. You know what, let's speed that up just a tiny bit. Wahahaha. Okay, so now we're gonna do... I think I almost walked off a fucking ledge. Old school. Let's do that just one or two more times. Here we go. Let's get it up to an even five, uh, 500k. And I think that will, uh, I think that'll pretty much allow us to, uh, finish up our upgrades and such. As close to an even 500k as you could probably get. A little bit over. Okay, so we're going to put on... What did I have on here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Or wait, no, that's not it? Then what the fuck did we have here?
Actually, you know what? I think... Yeah. I... I'm just going to be a miracles guy. That's just going to be what I'm going to have to be. But I will uh, still incorporate some ways to uh, inflict blood. But yeah, I think this is a strong um, ensemble of spells. There we go. Apparently, I haven't actually finished up Ronnie's quest, though. I'm kind of a little weird about that. On this file, I haven't. Because I had to uh, kind of finagle around and restore a save. So let's go ahead and get this. Okay, the, so the scaling doesn't go up on any of it. Oh, well, it would be strength, wouldn't it? Okay. Yeah, we can kind of give up the whole pulleys thing now, I'll be honest. I do like the traditional hand-to-hand -hand fighting style, but if they're just going to be like, oh, hand-to-hand, -hand, um, the old fist style is now kung fu, then I'm not really going to say no to it either. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's... And let's uh, actually see what kind of... Uh, Ashes of War, let's see, what can we... Causes poison buildup. Okay, so it would cause a poison buildup at 133. Hmm... I guess I'd rather have something else. Hmm. Could just go old school with it. Let's see. Yeah. Look at that fucking thing. Just a big gigantic fucking thing. I like that. And now I have so many weapons that I actually like that's kind of hard. Like... So they actually come off, and then they get put back on. That's pretty cool. I still like how you can kind of see that they're supposed to be like hands, basically. But I do want to see how they kind of... How they kind of hold up against maybe a little bit of a tougher opponent. So let me get a little bit of drink. love to do this DLC all over again, honestly. I know Radon was a pain in the ass, 
And there are a couple of fights in here that can be paid. He has like Gaius. But still, I think I, I liked it. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so we got our Bloodhound step. Kind of interested to see how this will work. Completely. Okay, try it now. I think we have a winner here, folks. Like I said, like even if I didn't have like the kung fu like fighting style from the uh, from the mod, um, I still enjoy that fighting style too, the original one. Christ, this thing is really, really good. And now I have B scaling in uh, strength and dex. So I think I got a pretty... Uh, ooh, okay. Actually, let's do a comparison. So this is the Golub Fist. Okay. So it is right there just a little bit more like damage dealing than the red bear and quality uh beast claws i'm actually kind of surprised because like the red bear doesn't have an affinity on it like because it can't this one has one and it's like eight points lower which isn't that bad um and then you have Golem Fist, and I think just because of, like, the little bit extra that you get from Int and Faith on here, that it helps. Like, what is... Is there a weapon? Like, is there a hand-to-hand -hand weapon that's actually better? Oh, technically the Crafted Dragon... But I wonder if you actually put on two crafted dragons, if you could use them. See, like, that's the problem, is that, like, this doesn't have a pair with it, which is why I have two. But yeah, the Golem Fist is the strongest, um, like, pure damage um weapon and it comes with a fucking long range attack or at least a mid range if you want to uh get technical on it but it's pretty cool like i would do a playthrough with just this in fact hold on I kind of want to do, I don't want to do something. As much as I do like Radon's sword, it just feels like kind of a cop out, you know? So I'm just going to put on stuff that I genuinely like. And I do like a bow too, it's just which bow should I put on, that's the question. Ooh. I would love to use this. That would be badass.
hell yeah, look at that thing. Yeah, this is it. This is my ideal, uh, this is my ideal character now. Is the, uh, I love the polearm fighting style, like this one. And I love just the amount of distance that you can generate with that. But I think it's time that we actually figured out where the hell are we on Ronnie's journey. Because I have no idea. Doll resembling... Okay. So let's figure this out. We're underground. We went the Grand Cloister. We went down Estelle, the natural born of the void. Okay. Okay. So let's figure this out. Cathedral. Did we actually do it? We may have actually done it, but for some reason... A certain someone's alive, which kind of confuses me. Maybe, maybe we just did it in such order that, okay, let's figure this out once and for all. Let's go. Whee. Okay, so we did this. Okay, so Ronnie's quest is actually done. Um, let's make doubly sure that it is. We're gonna go to Ronnie's chamber. Okay. So yeah, she's gone. I think the last. Oh, no. I feel bad. Oh, wow. He even killed uh, some of the assassins. Oh no, that means that EG's fucking dead now. I don't really want to, but I guess I'll just try this out against um, against Blood. If he's gonna, if he wants to throw hands with me, then we'll do it. Yeah, his story is so sad. Hey, bud. You doing okay? He's pissed. Where'd you throw my girlfriend? I got rot. I got rot on him. Oh, you cheap motherfucker. So for an extended fight, I don't think this, the golem fists really hold up. 
I do want to try one more. Um, I do want to try this fight one more time, but this time with the beast claws to see how they kind of how they kind of handle this situation. I just want to see how how consistent 45 blood buildup is. Come on. Sorry, my dude. Ronnie loved you, though. I just thought of something, and... It makes me wonder. Um, hold on. Because, yeah, I've got the armor and everything. Scale armor used by the Black Knife assassin, Assassin's Force to make no sound. The assassins that carried out the deeds of the Knight of Black Knives were known... Were all women and rumored to be Newman who had close ties with America herself. Was it America that actually ordered the hit, essentially? Let's see if I can find this out. Uh, what about pants? I'm, I'm just looking at all of the different um, pieces of gear that they have. Okay, so Greaves of Solitude, so that's too far down. Black Knight Greaves. Okay. Um, what about their dagger? Dagger once belonging to one of the assassins who murdered Godwin, the, let's say, Black Knife. And the Seal of Death. Okay. So they're not going to tell us. I don't think Blyde knew what was going on. That has to be like the explanation. AG. He's alive. Blyde's death. Oh shit. Unthinkable. How could Blyde? How did he break free from his cell? No. More importantly, Blyde became a curse that plagued Lady Rani. Yet even in madness, gave himself to her. I made a grave misjudgment. And I thought myself a capable war counselor. I'll catch up with you soon enough, Blythe. When I do, I only hope you'll accept my apology. Man, why well, they gotta make it all sad? What the... Went down swinging. 
and his helm. Yeah, he went down fucking swinging. Good on you, man. It's a shame, though. Really. But yeah, like, I think... Just... I like the Beast Claws just because of, like, the sudden maneuverability. Sometimes it could backfire, though. But, like, as far as, like, moving against another enemy that can match your movements, like an NPC kind of person, or just somebody who's lighter on their feet, this weapon will do it for you. But I wonder against a big boss how it would go. Okay, so we're gonna try to remember how the fuck to beat the rest of the game, because I don't remember. Let me take Sir. a look here. This will kind of tell us whether or not we can just go. Operates the Grand Lift of Rolled, which is... Yes. Okay, we can. We can absolutely do this. Let's do this. Oh, shit. Wrong way. We want to go back to the streets. Feels like forever since we even looked at anything for a significant amount of time that had to do with the base game. Just this giant, empty fucking city. Okay, here we go. Because, yeah, we gotta go out this way. Oh, fireworks starting. Okay, these guys ought to be a good test of the Beast Claws. the hell is that? Come on. Who wants some? I'm a true beast warrior. Oh my god. I may be a true beast warrior, but I want nothing to do with one of those. Okay, I think I remember this now. Still not bad. All right, let's do this. Man. 
making our way to the end, you motherfucker. I wonder if Millicent has anything to say about the demise of uh, of Mikola. If we uh, if we can make it there, which I'm considering it. Oh. Ooh, fuck. I can rip into you like a goddamn monster. Damn. I didn't expect that to work as well as it did. I'm glad it did, though. Same thing with that. But... Ooh, hello. Do, 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 do. You don't see me, but I see you. That's how this works. Son of a bitch! Oh, just a smoothing stone, that's cool. I think we get stopped, like, right here, if I remember correctly. Maybe not. Maybe it's, maybe it's at the next part. Oh, that's right. That's a divine tower. But we're not going there. This is where we're going. I don't think we... Yeah, we haven't even been here yet in this file. Let's go. Fuck yeah. It's like a gargoyle here, and I may fight it, I may not. Not quite sure. Oh shit. Fucking bitch! There we go. Everything is good now. We. That's right, I forgot that I could mount you up right now. Let's go. Would you look at that? So many of these. 
Show me little scarabs. I don't know why though. Nope. Mm -mm. Too bad. So sad. Go home. Tell dad. What's up? Bye-bye. I mean, that was a cool story and everything like that, but I gotta go. It's time for me to hoist the medallion and set forth and claim my destiny. Just popped my back a couple good times. That's right, I was confused about this, and then just the whole entire platform just raises up. Like, all of it. Which leads me to believe that, like, this was probably a method of, like, mass transport to where, like, a small army could probably fit onto this thing. Delicious. All right. Time for us to keep going. Hello there, Earn Tree. I'm gonna burn you down. Is there a grace like right here, or is it like a little bit further away? Ooh, what the beast blood? Rimmed Roa? Okay. I know you. I know you over there. Finally, we meet the tarnish. The would be lord, the mind. Why the long face? I fear that you were previously acquainted with this vessel. Mm. Well, that is most unfortunate. For he is dead. As for his flesh, he gave it to me. Shabriri, I hope you can make your peace with that. You were about to sacrifice something precious, the life of a fair maiden. Yet you would toss into the fiery forge, only so that you may be lord. What a horrible thing to ponder. Your ascendancy requires her sacrifice. Whether she wishes it or not, the chosen tarnished and would be lord's 
Sky. The poor girl. If you are prepared to show resolve and attain lordship through righteous hardship, then heed the words of I. Shabriel. Chosen tarnish, descend into the depths far below the Erd Tree capital. Seek audience with the three fingers and the flame of frenzy. If you inherit the flame of frenzy, your flesh will serve as kindling, and the girl can be spared, setting you on the righteous path of lordship, the path of the lord of chaos. Burn the Erd Tree the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes ah uh, may chaos take the world may chaos take the world chosen time descend into seek audience yeah that dude's kind of crazy i'm not gonna do that Ooh, zamor ruins the Xamor set is a pretty good, uh, pretty good armor set. Gotta say. Wait, have we not? Oh, okay, we did. We did get a grace. I was a little concerned there for a second. I gotta itch my nose. But yeah, like... I don't want to fight you! Oh shit. Oh. I remember this now. I totally remember this. Bad. <laughs> You're just like, was that the? Was that the guy? Who the fuck? What? Oh my god! Why? Okay, here we go. Ooh. I see you. Okay. Uh oh. Ooh, I think that jump saved us. There you go, bud. Let's keep it going. If I cared 50% more, you'd be dead right now. trying to figure out exactly where we need to go. Because like I said, as many times as I've played uh, the game uh, to get different endings, there's some things I'm just kind of sketchy on the details of. Like, for instance, the natural, like, the way that you would use the lift to get to the uh, Altus Plateau? No idea. Completely forgot. Like, I know one half of it, but I don't know the other half of it. This is the way we would go. Okay, Guardians Garrison. Okay, okay, okay. I'm starting to remember a little bit. Hey, Shesh. 
It's rude to scream at people. Rude. Oh yeah, and technically I'm getting a buff for using the same weapon in two hands. Because of the talisman. Like, does it... It doesn't tell me one way or the other. All right. We're about to have just a tiny problem. Just a, just a tiny, tiny problem. Yeah, that summon, uh... That summon recommendation ain't for uh, the jellyfish. Wow. Just gonna leave you alone, my man. Grace. Yeah, lots of fireworks going on outside. Might as well have it, just in case. Because we may try um, to uh, to do uh, Melisent's quest slash um, Melania as a boss fight, but I don't know. Part of me wants to, but another part of me is just like, man, I, I just... Okay, there we go. Boy, oh boy. Okay. So we go in through here. That's fine now. Trying to find... Okay, we're getting close. Yeah, wherever the chain is. Here we go. I don't wonder how my fight against the fire giant is going to go. I remember having some problems. And now remember that here, everything can just fucking kill the shit out of you. This way. They're still just fighting. And I think there might be a. Uh oh. I think I know who's here. Yep. Oh shit! It's Yoshimitsu!
Yeah, I should have just done that. Rivers of Blood and the Okina Mask. Sweet. this Ooh, okay that's pretty cool so yeah, I guess if you defeat uh, Okina then you kind of sort of get a second reward if you just kind of look closely that's pretty cool okay, we're almost there I can remember... yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, yep. This is... Yep, but we need the grace. Wait, 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 wait. Talk to Melin Melina. We're almost there. The flame of ruin lies just ahead. I'm glad it was you I traveled with. I must tender my thanks to Torrent, too. Thank you. Torrent, please continue to lend your aid. Till the end. There is something I'd like to say. My purpose was given to me by my mother, but now... I act of my own volition. I have set my heart upon the world that I would have, regardless of my mother's designs. Hmm. I won't allow anyone to speak ill of that, not even you. Okay. I wonder who her mom was, though. Was it... Was it America? Like, did America just have a random daughter or something? There he is. Oh, wow. Not bad. I thought I had a little bit, I thought I had a little bit more distance on that. I didn't realize it's actual um, area of effect, as it were. But I do think, though, that the Beast Claws may actually be strong enough to get the job done. And that would be uh, my primary thing. I would uh, I would really like to be able to beat to beat a boss with uh, the beast claws. So we'll see how well that turns out. Or I would like to experiment with a certain new. Um, incantation that we've gotten. 
Come on. Holy shit. Oh my god. Shit. Oh, shit. Kept running into the little spikes that was making. Okay. Halfway done. He's just like, man, fuck this leg. That's a good screenshot, too. Oh, shit. too bad honestly like not too bad I'll uh, I'll try the uh, pull blade this time because I think I've proven the point with the beast claw that we can get pretty far in there but I do want to try uh, the pole arm a little bit too this is yeah another uh, fighting style that I can, uh, that I can see, like, how well it performs. Like, especially its, uh, its, uh, weapon art. Or its, uh, spirit ash, basically. Just to see, like, how well it does.
I thought I could do it as a dodge. I was wrong. Spears. Just rolling around in the mud. Wonder if Ghost Flame would do anything to him. Oh fuck. Oh shit, I'm up against a fucking wall. Okay, it's just two. Oh my god! Oh 
Holy shit, it actually worked. Was it terrible? Yeah, let's get up there then. The next boss, however, no idea what we're gonna do. Because Malaketh is a fucker. Just a fucking bitch. I think a lot of people fell for the trap of, like, trying to go all the way down. And it went to the wrong fucking grace. I don't think I could make that jump either. But yeah, I think peak like Elden Ring is when it was 2022 and nobody knew a thing about this. Even the wikis were just still trying to compile the data and everything like that. And it was a very slow process because this is a very big game. And it felt like the internet as a community was figuring out this game all at the same time. It was magical. I have long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? I'm ready. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. And Yeah, I think she basically just puts us to sleep for this. Because even as a non, like, a non-vocal character, we'd have to stop this, right? Thank 
thank you for guiding me here. That's sad. Like, and also, whenever the Erd Tree burns, it's just an aesthetic that I just do not like. So I try to get into, like, I try to do everything I possibly could with, um, with the playthrough at hand before I even start this. I just remember watching um, the uh, Djibouti crew play through this, and they were just like, there's more! And I think that's everybody, to an extent. Everybody was just like, there's more! What do you mean this doesn't stop? Interesting how they just give you some of that stuff just as you fall down. Crumbling Ferrum Azuma. Yeah, it just makes you wonder, like... Could they do another... Like, they could really do another DLC with this game. I think 5 million copies just pretty much proves that nobody would mind. Uh-oh. Where's a grace? Where the fuck is a grace? Hold on. Is there one? No. Um... Okay. Weird. There we go. We got an old fang for all that. Isn't that just lovely? Ooh. Almost didn't see you there, son. Here. Oh. Whoa, God. Nice. Where are you? A lightning proof dried liver? Okay. There we go. There's a grace. But you know what? I think we may send or we may save the last part of the game for another time. But I will finish it, but here's the thing. Now that Shadow of the Erd Tree is out of the way, I don't know. I feel like I could, you know, play some other stuff now for the stream. I do want to I do want to get back into the event uh, for uh, Warframe and everything like that, but just for right now, I think it's time our... Uh, I think it's time that our uh, protagonist here... Had just a little bit of time, a little bit of, 
a little bit of rest after the after the battle against Radagon and the unstoppable onslaught of thorns that we had to produce in order to even the odds. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Shadow of the um, Ur Tree for right now is over. So um, the next stream or two um, that show up are going to be of me just beating the game and seeing if anything else happens. To which I may kind of look up just a little bit to see like, well, if I beat the well, if I beat the DLC, what should I look for? Or what should I pursue that may have a different kind of outcome or something like that. But anyway, it's going to be it for me, guys. And I will see you guys on the next stream.